Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 227. That is, what is the order in which we perform decoration, sanity, smoke, and retesting, okay? So once we receive the build from the developers, okay? We generally receive the builds from the developers for testing, right? Once the moment we receive the builds from the developers, what is the order in which we perform this degradation, sanity, smoke, and retesting? Okay, is a question. If you get this kind of question in the interview, you have to simply say that first we'll perform smoke testing. After that, we perform retesting, then sanity, and then regression. Okay, so smoke testing, you already know, right? It is a high level kind of testing performed on the important critical major areas of the application. It should not take much time, okay? If the application or build that is given for our testing has failed the smoke testing, okay? If the smoke testing scenarios, that high level uh, scenarios, which doesn't take much time, not more than 30 minutes for even for the complex application, okay? So within that time, we have to tell whether the application can be accepted further for the in-detail testing or not with the help of this smoke testing, okay? Uh, I answered about smoke testing in detail in the previous, say, uh, I mean, pre previous questions, okay? You can go back and uh, watch the previous questions. There you will find a detailed answer for a smoke testing. I don't want to dig deep in this session. Anyhow, okay, the smoke testing passes, then only we go for the next, next testing, okay? The first testing that we generally do after receiving the build from the developers is smoke testing, okay? After performing the smoke testing, then, we perform retesting, okay? So we, we retest the defects, guys, okay? So whatever the defects that developers are stating that they have fixed in this particular so-and-so version of the build that they have given for us for testing, right? That particular defects we have to recheck once to see whether they're really fixed by developers or not. They're really fixed or partially fixed or not at all fixed, we have to find it out, okay? If, they are, if the defects are really fixed as part of retesting, we'll close the defects, okay, since they are fixed. We'll close the defects. If they are not fixed or partially fixed, in that case, we have to reassign these particular defects as part of retesting to the developer's pack so that developers have to still work on them in order to fix them, okay? So second thing that we perform after smoke testing is we perform retesting. Then after retesting, okay, based on the changes that the developers have made in the application, okay, wherever the areas that got impacted, those areas, okay, we have to perform testing. That is sanity testing, guys. Uh, sanity testing is a subset of regression testing, you can say. Okay, mostly, uh, like uh, with the case of software testers, right, uh, we'll see like which areas got impacted, okay? Due to this defect fixing or any code changes, what are the areas that got impacted, right? Only those areas, not the complete application, only those areas which got impacted, those areas we have to, we have to test in detail or depth in depth. We should not even miss a single test case and behind the test cases we have to test with an intention of seeing whether those areas are still strong or not because the code changes happened in that areas guys okay there's a possibility of defects in that so sanity testing is a subset of regression testing where regression testing is a full testing of the entire application right in depth whereas sanity testing is only this sub it is a subset of the regression testing which tests only the areas which got impacted because of the code changes in this particular build that developers are providing to us okay so that sanity testing we have to perform here. After sanity testing is done, then we have to finally go for the regression testing where we will test the entire application completely in depth to see if there are any side effects which got introduced because of these code changes, okay? So whenever the developer is giving a new build means they have done some code changes because of any reasons. It may be uh, they may have added a new feature for that they have uh, updated or changed the code. They may have updated the existing functionality. They have, may have removed or modified the existing functionality. They may have fixed some defects for whatever the reasons, guys. Developers will keep changing the code and giving us the latest versions of the builds or softwares, uh, either in uh, application URL format or EXE format. It depends on the application we are testing okay? or APK file if it is Android application and if it has to be working on Android phones and all those stuff, okay? So whatever the build we get, Okay, we have to finally perform the regression testing, complete testing we have to perform from start to end, okay, without missing because the earlier, in the earlier build, some functionalities are working, doesn't mean that they will work in the latest build also because 
because of the code changes some side effects may get introduced into the existing working areas of the application that's the reason we have to perform regression testing so finally the simple answer for this question what is the order in which we perform regression sanity smoke and retesting is first we'll perform smoke testing if the build is accepted we will perform retesting okay after performing retesting wherever the code changes happened based on the cases we'll perform sanity testing which is subset of regression and finally we'll perform the complete testing that is regression testing. So hope guys, you got the order in which we have to perform regression, sanity, smoke and retesting in our projects. Okay, once we receive the build from the developers. So that's all from for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.